In more news this Monday, Frontier Airlines announced it has plans to buy Spirit Airlines for a reported nearly $3 billion. The deal would create the nation's fifth largest carrier. And according to the companies, the combined airline would be more competitive against its larger rivals and give travelers more options. In today's Consumer Watch, Jen Sullivan explains how experts say the deal could really impact flyers. Frontier and Spirit joining forces. The two largest low-cost airlines in the U.S. are hoping to merge. They have very similar business models, very low fares, fees for all the extras, things even like carry-on bags, uh, but uh, they are overall uh, generally the, the cheapest way to fly. And if the deal is approved, it would create the fifth largest airline in the nation. But what does this mega merger mean for flyers? Probably not a good thing for the average American flyer, simply because having more airlines and more competition in the market generally drives down lower fares. It's very rarely the case that airline mergers are good for the consumer, at least in the narrowest sense. Experts agree that fares aren't likely to get any lower. It's still unclear what brand the two companies would fly under, but Frontier says the combined company would offer more than 1,000 daily flights to over 145 destinations. And travel experts say the merger could give travelers more options to fly to mid-sized cities as well as underserved regions. You might start to see a lot of Caribbean islands that maybe never had a budget service before. You might start to see a lot more interesting options to Mexico or to Central America. Frontier and Spirit say the deal will allow them to grow and hire more employees. But before it becomes a reality, the merger has to be approved by federal antitrust regulators. You don't have to worry about this in the context of your summer 2022 travel plans. Uh, it's going to take time for this merger to be approved by the Department of Justice. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan.